they'll make them like they used to. No. Well, they make them better. I just can't afford one. Do you want a lift? Yeah, that'd be great. Are you sure this is what you want? No, miss. I'm just wasting your time. An abortion isn't something that you rush into, you know. It can't come soon enough for me. What about Robin? Have you told him yet? What's the point? He doesn't love me anymore, does he? No, but it's still his child. And I know that you've still got feelings for him. I hate his sodding guts, if that's what you mean. You're not doing this to spite him, are you? <sighs> Look, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying, have you thought it through? I've thought about nothing else, have I? Last thing I need round my neck right now is a kid. Bring it up on my own. No money. No father. Anyway, you get a better deal in here, don't you? Reva Dobson got made into a red band when she got rid of us. That is no reason for having an abortion. Anyway, it doesn't work like that anymore. I run a different regime now. It's not different inside the screws, Eds. You can't change that so easy. Sorry, miss. I just don't see why you're trying to change my mind. It's all booked, isn't it? I just want to make sure you're doing the right thing. I think you probably are. Then what are we hanging around for? Can't we just get on with it? Oh, I hope I'm not starting with a stoop. You what? It's these keys, if I am. Over the years, they pull you down. I don't know why we can't have key cards like they do in hotels. Oh, and they ruin your nails. Haven't you finished yet? What? I told you to mop that floor, not wear it down to the joists. Don't mind, Mrs. Hollenby, Rachel. It's just in one of our moods. Whose side are you on? Where's she skiving off to? Day by the seaside, miss. I believe it and all. It's like Butlins in here. They'll have us wearing red coats and doing party turns next. We're on our way to the clinic. There's always something wrong with them, isn't there? Have you noticed? She's having her termination, remember? Oh, right. Well, why didn't you say? I find it hard to talk about my real feelings, mate. All set. Yep. Take care, Zandra. It's precaution she wants to take in future. What? Well, look at her. Wondering how I did it inside? Why do you think they call them screws? Sandra. And if you're in the bondage! Sandra, do yourself a favour, yeah? If you'd like to come with me. Hi, Rich. You seem a bit down this morning. What's wrong? You've been ignoring me. Listen, love. I've got a very important job to do in here. Oh, like shagging Dockley, you mean? All I've been doing with her is patching up the mess that you started. That I started? Well, who else told her we were having an affair? Well, it wasn't me. Well, no-one else knows. Look, I'm sorry if you think I'm ignoring you, but I'm risking my job by being with you. Now she suspects I have to keep her sweet. Otherwise, she could grasp me up. Sweet. OK. She has got a soft spot for me, so I have to keep her from being jealous. But Shell Dockley, please. Get undressed, then put this on, please. Sir, can you help me get my knickers off? I've only got one hand. It's going to be cosy, this, isn't it, miss? You and me lying on the bed together while I have my operation. Is there uh, just the one door? Uh, there's a fire exit, but it's alarmed. What happens next? We run a few tests, blood pressure, things like that. She does need to get undressed. One false move. Yeah. I'm really going to shin down the fire escape with this bleeding Kleenex. Lorna, I'm going to wait in the corridor. Maybe I'll get her transferred to another wing. Well, that would be brilliant. Mm. It'll take time, though. 
Because she's been getting worse. She's going to do something to me, I know it. Well, I won't let her. You're not always around. I'm never very far away. Am I really the only one? Hmm. <laughs> of course you are, love. I'd never let any harm come to you. Hurt, will it miss? No, you won't feel a thing, my love. What will they do with the baby when, when it's like gone? But well, it's not a proper baby yet, Sandra. Well, it's alive. Well, yeah, but it's not. You've nothing to worry about. Robin should be here with me. He said he loves me, and he goes up for someone else. They promise you the world, then they dump on you. Want to know what they do with the dead babies, miss? Will I see it before they throw it away? I want to see it! I'll go get the sister. She'll, she'll, she'll put your mind at rest. No, don't leave me. Yeah, I'll just be a minute. Just lie yourself down. I'll, I'll be right back. No. <laughs> just have to get the sister. She's cutting our rough in there. Oh, it's going to be fun hanging around here all day, isn't it? What you're Stephen King, shouldn't you? I haven't got nothing, Shell. Have I spoken? You're going to do something for me. Or well, your mother is. What? She's going to collect some sweeties for me this lunchtime. My mother? That's the address. She's coming from Stock Park. Steve Kennedy's the guy's name. He's expecting her at one. It's in Clapham. Ten minutes from here. Take her no time at all. But she's bringing Maddie in today. Who? My little girl. She's only ten months old. Brilliant. She can stick him in a nappy. I can't ask my mother, Shell, anything but that. Stop whining, will ya? Look, you, you can't do this to me. I'll tell somebody what you're doing. You'll get into trouble. <laughs> that your little girl? Yeah. Sweet, isn't she? Shame if anything happened to her. Do as I say, and I might just be all right with you. Disobey. Afternoon. Why are you wasting your phone card? I want I want you to do me a favour. Um, I need you to go somewhere for me before you come and visit. It's not far, Clapham. Clapham? Yeah, uh, Barn Grove, number two. This is Guy, Steve Kennedy. He's got something for me. I said you'd pick up at one o'clock. Got what for you? Um, it's just a package. Well, it's not for me, it's for another girl, Michelle. Well, why can't she get one of her friends to bring it in? It's just some jewellery. Rachel, I'm not stupid. This is why you're in there in the first place. What? Well, drugs, of course. Do you think I was born yesterday? I'm not allowed to bring things in for you, never mind anybody else. Mum, please. Oh, shit, my car's running out. We've got enough to worry about this afternoon without that. What do you mean? Um, I'll tell you when I see you. Mum, listen, you've got to get this package from me. Mum? Mum? Then when they get here and it hits them, they lose it. Yes, Sandra. Isn't 
Archie in there. What's happened? She's done a lecker, Dominic, right under your nose. I've been here all the time. She didn't go out the fire escape. She's not in the toilets. But did anyone see her? No. Get your security out here, will you? Yes. We'd better call to prison. No, Dominic, we find her. Because if we don't, you and me start looking for another job. She's been threatening me again. Not now, Rachel. She wants my mum to bring some stuff in for her. Tell her she's out of order. Oh, yeah, just like that. She says she'll cut my baby if I don't do what she wants. Look, she's just mouthing off, OK? You said you'd protect me. I am. You've got to get her transferred. She's going to kill me. I know it. Rachel, will you shut it? What did I tell you earlier about being careful? Now, just go and pull yourself together and leave this to me, OK? Get out. Robin! What are you doing here, anyway? Robin! It's me, Sandra! Get out, or I'm calling the police. Now, Mother, don't. Rob! God, why didn't you want to name my letters? I've missed you. We're going to be all right, aren't we? What about our baby? What's up with you? already this morning, have you? Oh, don't start that crap again. I'm getting her moved, you'd be glad to hear. What? To another wing so you can shag her where I can't see? To another prison. You haven't got a clout. I'm in with those that have. Who are you doing that for? I want a quiet life. I'm sick and tired of you two at each other's throats. She's been bleating to you, hasn't she? Well, just thank your lucky stars I'm the only one. If she talks to anyone else, we're in deep shit. So just lay off her, OK? Yeah, OK. I mean it, Shell. She could grass us up if you push her too far. Yeah, I get the picture. Anyway, we wouldn't want this to come to an end, would we? Hmm? The only thing that keeps me going. Listen, I'd better be off. How about a goodbye kiss, eh? you in my letters, if you'd bother to read them. Why are you dressed like that? Because I just legged it from the hospital, didn't I? Mental hospital, I don't doubt. I was going to have an abortion when I ran away before they could do it. Then I suggest you go back and pick up where you left you off. You don't tell me what to do. It's our baby, mine and Robin's. How do we know that? Because I never slept with no-one else. Tell her, Robin. Why don't you speak to me? We can still get married. We can have a family like you wanted. I'll be out in ten months for good behaviour. I'm calling the police. That wouldn't be very smart, Mother, would it? Just leave us alone, will you? I'll sort this out. Listen, Zan. I'm not sure it would work anymore. We're too different. You said we were meant for each other. Yeah, but things have... I don't know, they've shifted. I'm in that doll's house. Well, you're in here, living it up. And you don't even care about our baby. Yes, I do. But I didn't know there was one till five minutes ago, did I? So what are you going to do about it? You can't ignore it. I've got rights. Fathers have to pay. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? <laughs> oh, hello. What can I get you? Just vegetables. It's got some nice veggie flan if you don't want the mince. Try a bit. Spare place in the mailroom and all if you're interested. Twelve quid a week you get. Mince or flan, Denny. Oh dear. One of those days. 
They've just told me Spencer can't come today. Oh, that's a pisser. He's got a chest infection. Nothing serious, I hope. No, it's just... It's the first time he's been ill without me to look after him. I mean, he's bewildered enough there when he's well. What'd he be like when he's poorly? I'm sure he'll be fine, Monica. You watch. What about you? Is um, Trish kind today? All being well. You don't sound so sure. Just a bit nervous. I'll be OK. You all right, Rachel? <laughs> yes, miss. Nothing wrong, is there? No, miss. You know, you'd settle in a lot quicker if you let people help you. What? I'll just note this every. You should make more of an effort. Stop being so standoffish. People mean well. Give them a chance, eh? Look, we've searched everywhere. Yeah, I know. The longer we don't let them know, There's no way that I am bringing that kind of thing in here. Do you want me locked up as well? It's not what you think. Then why are you so upset? Because some girl's not getting a brooch or whatever you said it was. It's what else I haven't brought that you should be worrying about. You've not even noticed. Maddie, where is she? Where's Maddie? Well, that's what we need to talk about. Miss Stewart's going to love you when she hears about this. Oh, what's she going to do? Send me to prison? You get two months off your remission, at least. Two months? If you absconded, Sandra, what do you think's going to happen? <sighs> Your pardon. Unless we don't say anything. You what? Oh, she's been through enough trouble for one day, hasn't she? We put her through any more aggro. She's not going by the book, but I think we should keep Stum. I don't believe this. Think about it, sir. You ain't gonna come up smelling of roses either, are you? Letting the con sit in the rains like that. Ow! Don't push it, sweetheart. Huh. Good. Because from now on, every time a con asks me to take the cuffs off while she has a baby or whatever, I'm gonna think, why the hell should I trust her? And I'm gonna put a lot of women through a lot of pain. Not because I want to, but because of what you just did. So think about that next time you piss one of us about, Sandra, yeah? into care without telling me. I tried to talk to you last time. You never said you'd do it. I couldn't cope with her. I mean, your bloody boyfriend couldn't. Oh, that's not fair. David's never had any children. Some guy you've known for half an hour says get rid so you do. I have to have a life, you know. It's been very difficult for me and I'm not getting any younger. If I'm going to find some... You don't want to be saddled with Maddie? Think about it. What kind of life was she getting? I haven't the energy all the time. I have to work. Then there's the expense. She's my daughter! Your granddaughter! Yes, I know. And if you'd have been coming out sooner, maybe I could have hung on. But it's going to be a year. At least that's a year out of my life. Oh, we couldn't have that, could we? <sighs> it's only temporary. You should be able to get her back once you get out. You never wanted me to have her in first place, did you? Rachel, don't start. Well, you've got what you want now, then, haven't you? Well, you put the power shower in. Does it work? <laughs> yeah. Except you put it on the side instead of over the taps. So every time you stand up, you crack your ribs on it. Mm. He's going to have to pull a load of tiles off just to move it. Should have got a woman to do it. <laughs> Tell me about it. You didn't want to make me jealous, did you? I know. Mm. I decided after your last visit, I'm going to keep my nose clean from now on. Whatever it takes, I could be out in... Ten years, if I play it right. If you can wait that long. <sighs> Drives me crazy when I ring and you're not there. Still, I expect you're busy with the bathroom and that. <laughs> I know you 
you still love me, it's all that keeps me going. You do still love me, don't you? Trish. I'll always love you, Nick. You know I will. That's all right, then. What's her name? Please don't be angry with me, Nick. I knew it. <laughs> it's been two years, Nicky. It's been the same for me. I know. I know, but I can't handle it. And I can. It's a million times worse than here. Look, we always said if we found it too hard... But you're all I've got! I know. But what's the point if we can't be together? Do we just stop living for ten years? I stop living either way if you do this. Is there anyone I know? So that's it. Just like that. I'm sorry, Nick. She'll be better looked after where she is. Why? Because I'm a lousy mother. Well, thanks for coming, Mum. You've really made my day. Rachel. Piss off. Hey, sit down there. Freeze us both up, I suppose. That's one way of looking at it. Why? Have you met someone? There's a few nice girls in here. You never said. No, well, as long as we were an item, I hadn't done much about it. I said you'd meet someone. Are you all right? We're still friends. Of course we are. Dixie's mother bring that stash. No, she didn't. So what are you gonna do? I've just spoken to my solicitor. We've got a date for the appeal. Are you OK? No. What is it? Trisha's got someone else. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, Nicky, I am so sorry. Yeah, well... There's my vegetable patch out the back and... Books to read. I'll be fine. Well, anyway, I said to my boss, there was no way I could. Oh, give it a rest for a minute, can't you? We've had nothing but come flaming by for the last half hour. So, this is my hobby. I'm entitled to sing. Please, I can hardly hear myself think. Should be gossiping anyway. You're at work. You'll be on a report before you know it. I'm warning you. Answering. You're getting too cheeky for your own. Going on. You're all right, Ix. <laughs> Denny bumped into me, miss. I'm sorry, miss. I didn't see it. Bring the twat. All right, doctor, that's enough. Are you all right? Here, let me dry you off. Get off me! I'm only trying to help you. Come on, let's go find nurse. Spot a germaline. Be as good as new. Oh, sorry, Rach. Especially if it's singed a minge. And Jim can't get his sausage in. <laughs> <laughs> How was she? Nervous as hell. I even told her I'd met someone else, make it easier for her. Crazy, isn't it? They kick you in the face and... It's called love, I believe. <sighs> Reason I'm in here. Love. Took out the copper who tried to rape her. 
What happened? I turned up at the club one night to take her home. It was just her and this shit who used to come in. D.S. Gossard. You had to butter up the local filth to keep them off your backs. Most of them were okay, but... Gossard. You had a press against the bar and he was saying... Come on, rug muncher. Have some of the real thing for a change. I just saw red. I picked up a bottle and I smashed it over his head. He just laughed. So I stuck what was left of it in his neck. I soon took the smirk off his face. I could be out of here in ten years. I'll be 44. While she moves on and... But you can move on too, Nicky. In here. That made me laugh. Look, you're feeling low. Uh, why not talk it over with your personal officer? I'll give it a rest, Monica. <laughs> Look, I know you mean well and all that, but... Lorna Rose. I've got anyone thick enough to work here. Help You've me. had an upsetting experience. Yeah. It... And I'll deal with it like I have to deal with everything from now on. On my own. You had an accident. What happened? That Ed case, you were going to have a word with Red Hot Tea all over me. Or Mrs. Hollenby said it was an accident. <laughs> she saw it. Look, I did have a word with her. She was all right lunchtime, wasn't she? Yeah, like she was all right in front of Hollenby when she burnt me. All saying sorry and dabbing it off. Are you all stupid? There's a woman trying to kill me and you don't even care. She's not trying to kill you. Have you forgotten what she's in for? Torturing the woman that took her boyfriend, setting light to her. She didn't set light to her. You don't believe that bollocks, do you? She'd lay you out of anything. Rachel, you're getting hysterical. This is what I warned you about. It's going to go on forever, I just know. And my mum came in today. Yeah? She's put Maddie into care. She said I'll get her back, but I won't. Well, that's why you're upset. It's not just that, it's everything. You said you'd deal with Shell, but you're shagging her like you'd shag anything in a skirt. You're just using me. I'm getting a bit tired of this. Oh, and I'm enjoying it. Well, I'll tell you so much. She lays one more finger on me, and I'm going to Stuart, and I'm telling her everything. About you and her, and about you and me. That wouldn't be very clever. It'd get you into trouble. It would if they believed you. Cons say things like that all the time. Nobody listens. All that happens is they lose their friends in high places. Do that and you're on your own. I'm on my own anywhere by the looks of things. Well, that's up to you. rock -a -bye, baby on the treetop When the wind blows, the cradle will rock when the bow breaks, the cradle will fall And down will come Rachel, baby and all <laughs> Jesus! Just in time for my tea break! Silly, stupid girl. Oh. 
Just do a tongue wire set, OK? Which as deep as you, miss. OK? Yeah. OK. And what if she blows it? She won't. What, one night when she's smacked up off her head? Now you don't know what she'll do. Oh, and what's the alternative, eh? Telling Stuart she legged it from under your nose. That'll look good in your file, won't it? You're showing a lot of concern for others. You know, first Sandra and now me. So, I'm looking after number one as well, Dominic. So she you be. Keep real. I can't believe this. I put you in an enhanced cell. That's a privilege, Rachel, you know that. Mr Fenner and Mr McAllister have given you good reports. Everything's gone well, then you just throw it away. Why? Don't know, miss. Well, something must be bothering you. I'm going to have to punish you, Rachel, you know that. Yes, miss. You don't seem too concerned. Yes. Excuse me, Miss Stewart. What is it, Mr Fenner? I, um, I just heard about Rachel. I don't know if she's mentioned it, but, uh, she had some bad news today from her mother. Oh? She's put Rachel's ten-month-old daughter into care. I see. I, uh, I heard she was upset and, uh, I thought, well, maybe that's it. Thank you, Mr Fenner. Sit down, Rachel. Why didn't you tell me? Is that what this is about? If you don't talk to me, how can I help you? I'm still going to have to punish you. Yes, miss. You can pay for the damage to your cell out your wages. And I'm withdrawing your enhanced status immediately. I'm going to put you back in the four-bed dorm in the ones. What? You can think yourself lucky you're not going into segregation. But that's where I should be sent in, Nick. Normally, yes, but in view of what's just happened, I'm going to be lenient. You can thank Mr Fenner for that. Rachel, are you sure there's nothing you're not telling me? Yes, miss. Well, I can't keep asking you. That'll be all, Rachel. Brought you some company. I wouldn't try your attention seeking in here. I don't think Denny would appreciate it. No, miss. Rachel, this is a pleasant surprise. Make yourself at home. What are you doing, Dom? Hiding. Sorry, I had to go. You. Gov wants us for a briefing. Look, I don't like this any more than you do. Then why lie to them? It's not really lying. All right, it's just bending the truth, yeah? They want details. They want to know why she didn't go through with it. What are you going to say then? I'll think of something. See, the thing is, you've got to remember what we're dealing with here, right? Someone older than Miss Stewart, more secure in their job, yeah, we might get away with a warning. But she's new, she's going to cover her back. You know, we could get sacked. Uh, Helen's not like that. Yeah, for Christ's sake, Don, why, why take the risk? Come on, if, if you don't care about yourself, then do it for me. I love my job, this is my life. Please, Don. Nice cauliflower cheese tonight, Rachel. Oh, I only want tea. Nah, come on. New building up after your little girl and that. Oh, yes, I heard about that, Rachel. I'm terribly sorry. Try a bit. You can always leave it if you don't like it. Love. Do you want to have a chat about it? After supper, perhaps? No, it's all right, huh? It'll be OK. Poor Rachel. Yeah. Poor Rachel. I was thinking you might like something to help you sleep tonight. Perhaps you should see the nurse. Yeah, good idea. Has she got a loaded shooter? Honey turkey. Morning, 
Jamaica. Any news about your appeal? Yes, we've got a date. My solicitor's quite optimistic. Oh, good. We'll keep you posted, then. I don't know if I should say this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Nikki Wade. Oh, what's she done now? No, no, it's nothing bad. It's just she found out today her partner's met someone else. I see. She was talking about ending it all. I mean, she was joking, and she's tough as old boots, I know, but she did seem rather down. Well, thanks for mentioning it. We'll keep an eye on her. You won't say I spoke to you. Don't worry. You, uh, wanted a briefing on Zandra's abortion? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come in. Listen, before we start, Dominic, you're Rachel Hicks' personal officer, aren't you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Have you not said anything odd about her recently? Um, well, no, not really. But, I, well, I've not seen much of her. I've been in reception the last week. She smashed up her cell this afternoon. Rachel? You're joking. Just found out that her mother put a little girl into care. Oh, that's terrible. Now, come in. Look, there's nothing else going on, is there? Not that I'm aware of. Well, maybe you can talk to her before you go. Yeah, sure. I've had to put her back in basic. Well, listen, while you're here, Nikki Wade, she's uh, very depressed, apparently. Girlfriends just split up with her. Can you tell everyone to keep an eye on her? Yeah, sure. So, how did the abortion go? But, uh, it didn't. What? She decided not to go through with it. What, after all that? I said she wanted to keep it. So the two of you spent the whole day in a wild goose chase? Uh, yeah, something like that. I think I'm going to have to have words with Miss Plackett. Well, she was very upset, Miss Stewart. Well, not as upset as I am. Anyway, she's entitled to change her mind, I suppose. But it all went okay apart from that? Yeah, yeah no problems. Well, good. That's all. Oh, and Dominic, you won't forget about Rachel, will you? No, I'll do it straight away. Hey. I'm really sorry about your baby. Yes, yeah, so is everyone. Just don't do yourself any favours, you know. That cell was a privilege. Is there something I can do? I'll fix you up with the doctor, maybe. I don't need a doctor. I need to get off this landing. You were off this landing. You're back down here because of what happened this afternoon. So I smashed up a cell? Listen, right. You care more about poxy cells than you do about human beings in this place? Oh, I've got no time for this. I've been messed about enough today. I tried to help, but we just get shat on. No, so wait. Nothing. I see your friends are now, then. Jim, I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's not the way it sounded this afternoon. Why would I want to shag you? Christ. Just look at yourself. Making that noise with you, Denny, it's driving me mad. Yeah, shut it, Denny. I still don't understand why you trust yourself like that, Rachel. I thought I'd get sent to punishment block. Just want to be on my own. But you were on your own. Smashing up your cell like that won't help you, darling. The only one who will lead you out of captivity is the Lord. <sighs> Lord Longford, maybe. Him up there. Don't give a shit. That's blasphemy, Zandra. You go to hell for that. Mm, I bet she's crapping herself. Are you going to be doing that all night? She's just had her baby taken into care, Denny. Have some patience. Well, she can always have another one. Get Jim to give you one. 
Look, I'll tell you one last time. Stop crying. It's getting on my nerves. Bloody hell. Denny, leave her alone! <laughs> Wimps. You have a stab shell. I've got shaky hands. Why are you doing this to me? Nobody crosses Shell Dockley and lives. But I haven't done nothing to you. Who messes with Shell messes with me. Sweet dreams, darling. detailed report on how this happened. Okay. As soon as possible, please. The governor's called a meeting for tomorrow. He's got the press to deal with, apart from anything else. They're going to want to blame someone, I suppose. Well, excuse me, ma'am, but I don't think you can blame the POs. It was Nikki Wade we were told to watch last night, not Rachel. Yeah, all right, Sylvia, thank you. That's a great help. Look, we know that she was upset. That's why I put her in a dorm with three others, to prevent deliberate self-harm. I had no idea she was this desperate. I take it none of you did either. Well, we need to get to the bottom of this as soon as we can. All right, come on. Let's go. Yes, ma'am. Things have changed all right. We've got dead bodies on the wing. Well, you can't blame Miss Stewart for that. Look at them. Bastards. You happy now? That the answer, eh? Bang us all up till we can't stand it anymore. Nikki. Give us all the body baggage when we come in, along with the blanket. Save you the effort, wouldn't it? Just muck out the cells now and again before the flies get stuck in! It was you lot killed Rachel. That's enough, Wade. Don't, Nick. It won't do any good. It's bullshit. Did that come from Trisha? Everybody bullshits.
Have they no respect for the dead? And more 